like going smaller. Yeah, we're gonna have a first keeper of the day. Sorry, I know that looks pretty bad kicking them down there, but gonna have them get off. Back to the crankbait. Cling a leg with John Dufat. Like it. I sure fight like gosh dang he ain't old he ain't very big but well he's bigger oh, than I thought yeah, John I say, he's a up on a flat I, I can only conclude that they're kind of trout another fish still on if he is he ain't big yeah he's still on Four. It's over four, 15 minutes. minutes into this tournament we got a limit not a big limit by most lake standards but for clinger lake hey it's not too shabby we're got eight and a half a little more than eight and a half pounds and uh, i would say I'm, I'm excited about that in particular because we didn't have a keeper it took i think 15 18 minutes to catch your first keeper everyone has been on this wally g wally g crankbait yeah, Stop biting that crankbait a little bit. I say stop biting, it's been like 20 minutes. Now we got two quick ones, and hopefully they're, you know, I'm getting that. It's all time. Fishing had given me so much timing. Not biting, and all of a sudden something just turns them on. Like my good looks. They stopped seeing John, because he's ugly. They saw me. Oh, oh, I say that. Oh, he seems like he's this maybe. And John just hooked into a giant. Look at yeah. this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, John. Holy smokes, John. Yeah. Look at this. Do you see that? Yeah. You see that? Good job. Uh, Good job. Good job. Yeah. Everything else is a Palomar with extra glue on it. Yep. Damn, man. This isn't any good. Well. Well. Oh, it's seems decent. You know it might be better than that. And he might not be. He might be just a real fighter. He's a piece of it. I set my drag too loose. But he's fat. He's going to be a keeper. Yep. Uh, call fish for us. Don't know how you're going to be able to see this in camera. I'll show John. But can you see in his throat? Do you see the crawdad pinchers sticking out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's awesome. Bad news is he's probably gonna spit it out and lie. Well, I'll lose the ounce at that crawdad ways. What gear ratio are you using? I'm a little bit faster. Is it faster than yours? No, yeah, no, okay. mine's 7 2. Look, look how they're eating. Tell me they don't want to crank bait. You sorry. know they're eating crawdads out here. Hard time explaining all this. 
see what that is. I swear it looks like a baby catfish. It looks like to me. Fish just spit that up and you just saw crawdads in their mouth. But they are eating that crankbait very well. You would think, you would think you gotta throw very small minnows like that little baby bat, or uh, I think a catfish there, or crawdad baits, jigs or tubes. But it hasn't worked out here. I don't know why, but reality is who cares? If you know, if you're throwing something they're eating, like John just got a crankbait fish, who cares, right? Come on, Johnny. Is he big? Yeah, but I mean, that's still, that's a fat, it's a fat keeper. It's just small. I carry fry those fish? John's hooked up too. Never mind, he caught weed. Get a weed. like to today but I mean I don't you know. yourself have probably caught a dozen keepers but unfortunately none of those are our best five those are Stop bragging. Me. oh my bad I was just trying to give the you know accurate update to day update whatever what's the word we've got a boatload of fish on its engine we got right around 10 pounds I really doubt we won the tournament but you never know that's why you go wait a minute so let's hey let's go wait these and see what happens last two hours of tournament Really, that crankbait deal, he still catch a couple here and there, but it, it was more of a drop shot deal. Now I say that we caught more, we were able to watch him on live scope and hook him that way. But still, four out of five keepers we caught for today are gonna to come off that crankbait. Basically, under the boat. Crankbait bite. Crankbait I used all day was a Wally G. Looks like a C Flash 38 Cal. And the one John was using, he caught quite a few fish as well, was a C Flash 38 Cal. My guy got a seven foot six uh, loose rod KVD 5XD. Uh, you know, this rod might, if they had their 3XD series, probably might be a little more sufficient. But my gear ratio on the reel is a 6 4. And I was using 12 pound fluorocarbon, not 10. Probably could have got more depth with 10, but still trying to get a little bit of depth out. There. I'm sorry, still, I wasn't trying to get all that deep out there with this thing. Just working it through a lot of weeds. 
and I was using it pretty fast for training for the most part. I believe that we were getting reaction strikes on a the crankbait. They're eating crawdads, they're eating little bait fish, little baby fish, bait, whatever you call it. It looked like baby catfish. So this bait really didn't mimic what I knew they were physically eating, but I think we were getting a reaction bite. I think the weather helped out as well, being overcast, kept them active and kept them out from the docks. If it's sunny out here, definitely would have spent a lot of time in the docks. Yes, sir. And they all survived though. Right? What was that big one, Ken? If you could, yeah. What was it? One nine six. One nine six? Uh oh. Scales are off. It was it was two eleven on my scale, so it's not like it's off. You grabbed the right one? No, probably not. Nine six five five. Nine six five five. Third, second place. With 9655, Boston DuPont. Alright, good, good job, guys. Thank you, thank you. First place and big bass, 1132 and 295, Holland Stout. Beat by the legend.